Hey everyone, so let's talk about using, like actually using the iPad 9, which comes in at 250 bucks here in the US, versus using the iPad Pro M4, the newest version, which comes in at $1,000 in the US. And those are, of course, the starting prices. Uh, and then if you want the 13 inch Pro, it is, I believe, $1,300. So, a bit more money. Uh, so, what do you get for four times the price in terms of daily usage? Uh, now, yes, you do get a nicer display. Uh, you do get quad speakers, and those speakers will be way better than the iPad 9s, which has two speakers on the bottom there. Uh, so that is way better. Uh, and yes, you do get the M4 chip versus the A13 chip. Uh, you know, it is going to be a brighter display. You're going to have a better camera on it. A uh, whole bunch of stuff like that. But what does that actually mean in everyday use? And honestly, I think for most people... Something like the iPad 9 is going to be more than fine. And you'll see at times, iPad 9 is going to win. They're both on the same internet. Uh, they're both on the same, you know, my same home Wi-Fi here. And at times, the iPad 9 is going to beat the M4 uh, iPad Pro when you are just doing regular everyday things. So we'll go ahead and do a Best Buy search here for iPads. And you see they are almost the same, which is insane. Because the M4 chip should be way faster, but again, just doing regular web browsing, both are going to be good for that. Let's see, everything is loaded in. And again, of course, the display on the M4 Pro is going to be better than the iPad 9, but I don't think it's really that much better unless they're side by side. And right, click that, click that, and see they're both very quick. And go ahead and get rid of those. We're going to a game here, Pokemon Unite. And you can see here too, like when it turns to that display, uh, that blank display, you can see a big difference between them. Uh, you have like some more light bleed coming through on the, on the uh, 9. So logging into that, you can see they're both very quick. We'll go ahead and hit offline mode here. Uh, you are talking about 10.2 inch versus 11 inch displays. And check. we'll go ahead and pick Pikachu, hit start on offline. So this is where you'll notice a little bit more of difference in speed. So there, the Pro is loaded in, and there, the iPad 9 is loaded in. So I mean, you're not talking a whole lot of difference, you're about 5 seconds or so. Uh, 60 frames per second, 60 frames per second. And the Pro Motion is turned on, on the, let's go ahead and do that. On the Pro, you can see it is dropping a little bit on the Air. It went down to like 59. So again, you are talking not a whole lot of difference. And just attack. So again, both are basically 60 frames per second. So I know a lot of people will buy an iPad for their kids or even for themselves for some Roblox time. So we are in all the way up here on the iPad 9. Do some arsenal because it again gives you FPS counter. Let's see there, it is trying to go above 60, but it's kind of stuck. Let's turn ourselves around. And see we're still about 60. It tries to go above that, but it is kind of stuck at 60. Going on to the Pro, again do some more arsenal. There you go, I was thinking I was still logged in to Arsenal on the iPad 9. Uh, that's what that message is giving me. But again, manual, go ahead and deploy. And this does have promotion turned on. But I know people keep telling me that you have that on, it should go above 60. It's still stuck at 60. So you can see there, frames per second wise, both of the same graphics wise, they both load in the same. They both play very, very smoothly. And the last area I want to talk about is going to be the speakers. Uh, so again, iPad uh, iPad 9 here has these two speakers. That is it. And the problem with this is they're both on the same side. Uh, where the iPad 10 fixed the issue is not both one on each side. But, so the volume is up all the way. So it doesn't sound bad, it's just all coming from one side. 
it just isn't the best experience. Uh, whereas when you get quad speakers, so again, you have two on both sides and all these are actual speakers on like on the air, it gives you the cutouts, but they're not all actual speakers. And again, we'll go up, volume up all the way, same exact video. You can just tell how much more full that sounds, how much better that sounds. You know, both devices are about the same size. Um, and of course, if you get the 13 incher on the Pro, it will sound even better. It's a bigger device, bigger speakers, better sounding. Uh, but I think, again, for most people, the iPad 9 is going to be just fine, unless you are a very power hungry person or you just want the latest and greatest. Uh, but for most use, even gaming, iPad 9 is still a very good option for only 250 bucks on sale. Uh, yeah, y'all let me know what you think, though. Thank you all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.